it's funny because most so many people say, well, why am I why am I going through this math? I, it's not I'm not going to use this, you know. <laughs> Well, it, it comes up all the time. Calculus, you know, it comes up all the time in, in the work that I do. Now that I'm not as involved in research, I have, I mean, there, I actually have to find myself forgetting some things if I'm not doing it on a regular basis. But, you know, um, all the math that you end up learning um, does, it totally applies to, to physics and, and the physics that I do. Um, plasma physics, for instance, is very important for the work that I do because the sun is a big ball of plasma. So um, that's, on it, and you know that is a course that I took that has just been ongoing. I, I use it all the time, uh, but you know there's you know fundamental science, fundamental physics. Um, it, not only do you use the tools that you learn in these courses, but there's on a higher level you learn how to solve problems in other areas of your life as well. When you're good at or you know you learn how to kind of tackle problems in, in math and science you kind of have that ability to apply problem solving to other areas in your life. So I would, so I always tell people that even though they don't see the benefit in, in you know, why are they going through the, learning all the, you know, these things, um, well, you never know when it's going to come into play or when it might be beneficial. And it, and it actually comes into play in my life, even outside of my work. Uh, so I think it's important. And you, it may not always be obvious um, how it's going to apply or how it's going to be important, but um, Generally, if you go into the sciences, it definitely will apply. Um, but even if you don't, some of these tools that you learn can actually be beneficial in other things.